Hi, everybody. Welcome to Halftime here live on Brew Sports. Oh, my goodness. It's a thirsty Thursday edition of the program. I'm Baxter Colburn. And I'm Tanner Burke. How are you, Tanner Burke? I'm good. I'm, I'm great. You, you seem flustered. I'm a little nervous. You told Why me are you nervous? You told me there's a surprise, and I don't really know what the heck is going yes, on here. Yes, I, so. I have a surprise scheduled for you today. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, I... I We'll get to it in just a minute. I don't want to I like, mean, not just fine. straight up get to it right off the bat. I mean, but Thirsty Thursday, it's a good time to be alive, obviously. The NFL draft a week away, Tanner, from the first round. Yeah, Will the Bills exciting. do something relevant? I have no idea what they're going to do. I have no idea what the Packers are going to do. I just hate the fact that it's starting at 8 p.m. Eastern time. I no one's going to stay up and watch it. Um, I mean, people only want to watch the first 10 picks anyways, or they want to watch their team get exactly. their, their first pick, and then they'll, t- they'll tune off. So Yeah, uh, no, understandable. You know, unfortunately for you, that means sticking around until the end of the draft because, you know, you guys made the playoffs and all that fun jazz, so I'm sorry. I mean, it's a it's a small price to pay for success, I suppose. Yes. Like, oh, I suppose we'll pick, what is it? I don't even know what we have. 28? Uh, 20, yeah, 28, like 29? Yeah. Small price to pay, I guess, for, for being a Packer fan, I guess, for consistent success. I mean, consistent. Wouldn't wouldn't I love to have a player that you guys might end up drafting? Sure, but I don't at the know. same time, I, ho- I hope so. I but hope at the same the time, I mean, you know, we'll deal with the 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 not as quite talented players, so that way we can continue to be an elite franchise. Okay, deal. I think that's a safe deal for all, all right. of us. So, um, I I have a surprise for you today. Um, you. You, you look thirsty. So I, I wanted to give I you a thirsty. coaster. I wanted to give okay. you a coaster because this? this is this is part of the surprise. So <laughs> I swear to God, you're, you're like terrified, and I, I don't am. know why you're terrified. I'm, I'm, I'm right. horrified. I am, I am going to get your surprise really fast. Okay. okay, so hang tight. I'll be right back. Uh, Baxter leaves the set, and I'll check that bingo square. <laughs> that's why that's over there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? So, if you haven't heard, Starbucks has released a new unicorn frappuccino. A unicorn frappuccino? Unicorn frappuccino. This is amazing. It is. This is incredible. To make it more amazing, I even enlisted the help of a, of a good Starbucks friend of mine, a Starbucks <laughs> correspondent. I don't even know what we want to call okay. her. Star- right. Starbucks expert, Tiana Vanderhei. She's here with us this morning as well. <laughs> Tiana, uh, a very good day to you. How are you today? <laughs> what does a, a unicorn taste like? That's what I'm trying to figure out here. I see what it looks like. Are you serious? So no. I the, the the gal at the Starbucks that I went to, she was like, you should try it. I'm like, I'm going to wait until I'm on the air. So the way it works, and correct me if I'm wrong, Jenna, you have to taste it without stirring it and then stir it and then taste it again. Is that how what? this works? This is terrifying. I'm looking at it. There's like things floating around in it. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm I don't gonna, know. I don't know. Cheers. Have you tried it yet? Not yet. I've All been right. waiting. Well, I've been waiting. So uh, cheers. Okay. Let's see what happens. I'm I have no idea. The heck was that? Wow. There's a lot going on. I just shot up my straw. Yeah, I thought the same thing happened to me. I'm hopeful that was like sprinkles or something. I'm not really sure what, it, what I'm tasting. I don't know either. Do we stir it now? I think so. So we've we've had a sip, Tiana. Now we now we stir. You're the you're the Is that expert pulp in this. That's in there. <laughs> oh, I can taste that. Oh man. Oh my gosh! My gosh! This is this is an, this is very too much thought into this. I'm not really sure what I'm seriously. Tasting. I watched the gal make it this morning, and I'm like, "What are you like? Wow!" It's a piece I of just, art. This is why I just get a white chocolate mocha. Whoa. Good lord, that took a hard turn. Wow. Did they, like, grind up, like, a million packets of Smarties? I think so. And then just mix in some some, uh, some ice cream? <laughs> like, it's so tart and sour. I don't know what to think about it. It's I don't almost know. like a Sour Patch Kid, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, it's like... It's weird. It's really weird. So, Tiana, what, what exactly <laughs> is going on? What the heck just... What, did we, what did we just go through? <laughs> Ooh, uh, this is yeah. This is pretty crazy. You're not you're not wrong. I wanted to try that one too. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Yep. I definitely taste. Warheads. Warheads. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is. I mean, I I got a little bit of that Smarties bit that you said, or the like the sweet tart kind of combination. The more I drink, as well, the more too. sour it gets. It was better unstirred. I feel like, and now like now that I've stirred it, I've almost. This is this is also why I got the smallest size for yeah, this too, because I'm like, smart. there's no way I'm gonna buy like a a venti of this because well, I don't, I couldn't it's, do it. It's weird because it, the consistency is weird. It looks like when I try and make like hollandaise sauce and the butter separates from <laughs> everything else in it. <laughs> like, like oh, that's fine. It's what? interesting. I don't know what I'm drinking, but I'm going to keep drinking there, it. There's a lot going on here. But um, from what I've heard, wow. too, I mean, and I know you've heard this, too, Tiana. I think is there 76 grams of sugar in this drink? <laughs> you trying to kill me? <laughs> <laughs> I got a tall, okay? We both got tall, so prob- it's, prob- it's probably only like 60. <laughs> it's true. I said, yeah, it's very true. I've, I've seen numerous people be like, what the heck is this drink? And other people are like, oh, my gosh, this is amazing. I've seen people give this to their, like, seven- and eight-year-old kids. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> I, I guess. Oh. Oh. That's it? It's only going to kill me slowly. Yeah. I was gonna say I can I can I can feel my the kidney stones forming already on I, just the tall here basically. Is there like some like taurine or guarana in here or something that's gonna like I mean because I feel like my body is just like about to go off the walls here. I feel like a, <laughs> is it wrong of me to feel like a, uni, a unicorn right now because I feel like that's what's going. On. Am I turning into a unicorn? That is that the be. whole plan of is that the big surprise? That's the big surprise. You turn me into a unicorn. The more you drink, the I'm gonna sl- fly away on a rainbow. You are. Oh my god. Yeah, and I, I love it. <laughs> I was saying, Starbucks says it too. Like you look at the, the promotions, like made with real rainbows. Is that like what it how says? many how many rainbows oh were, my God, were I heard in the making? What is. what is it? What did you? What is it? Oh, uh, have you seen those squatty potty commercials with the unicorn pooping out? Like I can't say that I have. Yeah, there's. It's, you gotta look it up. I'll see if I can find it. But there's, <laughs> it's a squatty potty commercial, and it's basically like. Uh, it's a joke, but it, they're serious at the same time. And it's a unicorn pooping like the, out is soft serve. Is it like serve. the poopery kind of commercials? I yeah, kind of like that. So the unicorn's pooping out soft serve, and this guy is like <laughs> like putting it in a cone and eating it. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? What is this? Oh, my god! Now I've figured out this is what that is. This is, uh, we've, we've, we've this is the squatty potty is. unicorn uh, There you uh, go. Poop. Now that, so, now you can die happy, I feel like. But it explains the, the sour taste in my mouth. Exactly. Exactly. I, I haven't stopped smiling since then. I, it's not because I don't want to stop smiling. It's because I physically can't. I'm do just it. so happy right now. I yes. don't know why. Exactly. So many, there's so many things wrong with the world, and I'm just thrilled with everything. Exactly. But this is very much just a fad, isn't it, Tiana? I feel like this is going to go away in like two weeks, three weeks. Does this have any possible thing of being a consistent factor on the menu? I really doubt it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I feel like I have to now. It's basically, I mean, I don't even, I'm not sure if I love it, but I feel like I have to have one all the time now because I'm just so happy. I know. It makes you so happy. It's like <laughs> unicorns and rainbows and <laughs> happiness. Like, wow, I've been searching for the true uh, meaning of life, and I think it's here in this in this thing. <laughs> I've already been having a great day. And, like, li- like, you know how, like, when you have too much sugar and your face can't move? Like, that's kind of how uh, I feel right now. Like, I can't not smile in the sense of like my face is stuck in that because there's so much sugar coursing through my body right now it's funny because they they call it so it's a it's a it's a sweet and sour pink and blue cream swirl topped with what starbucks calls 
Fairy powder. <laughs> fairy powder? <laughs> oh what? my gosh. Is there, like, a, is there a patent on fairy powder? Like, like, is it made with real fairies or is it like... I you know, don't what? know. I don't like, know. What if you're like fairy powder intolerant? Like how does that work? It reminds me of when Taco Bell came out and said, because uh, they were in trouble for, because they said they have, they have, like to be called, in order to be called beef, you have to have at least 30% <laughs> beef in there. And when asked what the rest of it was, they said it was their little secret. <laughs> You can't have a secret ingredient when it comes to these things. <laughs> what is fairy dust? Is it sugar? Okay, probably. It's, it, yeah, it's, it's the all ground it is. up Smarties. I watched, I the, I watched the lady at Starbucks like toss it on, and it looked just like you know colored sugar. Oh it's all it really was. But I don't know. I need to know what's in this. I'm, I can't find <sighs> well, it anywhere. We'll have to send Tiana into the field to do uh, some crack <laughs> research for us, uh, and hopefully she can get to the bottom of this madness for us. Too. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to make it to the bottom of this madness. I feel like I feel like we almost should. I, somebody this morning, because because we talked about this in the morning brew, they recommended putting vodka with it and see mm. if that would maybe make it more tolerable. It's like sweet, and then all of a sudden it hits you. It's like, well, bam, yeah, pow right in the kisser, like a reflector <laughs> in my mouth. Like yes, that. yeah, exactly. Just leaving my mouth all bloody. Oh my gosh! All right, well, Tiana, before we let you run, um, you you said those <laughs> magic words that aside from Starbucks before you said playoff hockey uh, before we went on the and air. I got very do you, excited. Do you have a moment? Do you want to talk playoff hockey with us really fast? <laughs> oh my gosh jeez oh man oh all right I, and <clears throat> that makes a good point though i mean that was all i really was going to ask was about the big series i mean obviously the caps even the series last night at two apiece against toronto which i think some people were a little surprised that it even got that they were even down a game plus you've got the wild getting ready to get swept by mm-hmm. the blues the predators blackhawks game is tonight as well too i'm, I'm watching that game I, i'm going to try to find a way to watch it i mean i normally don't watch that much hockey but i feel like in this scenario you have to. with the with the brooms at the ready it's, it's you have the, to watch it's it. the the dynasty of the chicago Blackhawks down three nothing against Nashville, and they got shut out in two of those games at home. Exactly. It's like, oh, Nashville has a uh, an opportunity to to really make history tonight and uh, take out Chicago and sweep them, which That's would be true. amazing. So. What do you what do you take away from some of these uh, potential sweeps, Tiana, and in general with the Wild as well too, from a fan perspective? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is true. That's very true. Well, we uh, we certainly appreciate you swinging by as uh, our very first ever Starbucks uh, expert, and also giving us your your two cents on the NHL playoffs as well. Too. Uh, once you officially have tasted the unicorns, you're going to have to report back to us, Tiana, and we uh, we look forward to your expert analysis again. Please, on that. please inform us. I need to know. <laughs> what like, I'm, I don't know what's going ingesting. on. Right Normally, now. I don't care what's going into my body. But this is a case where I'm like, I just want to know. <laughs> Not that I'm concerned by any means, but I need to know what it is that makes this. I mean, it was like, it was separated. The fact that they need to tell you to stir it. <laughs> I mean, that should, that should set off some couple alarm what's bells going to you. On? What is it? Oh my gosh! I don't know. Well, Tiana, we appreciate you swinging by. Uh, we're you're pretty active on social media as well, too. But uh, where can people find you on social media if they want to keep up with the latest uh, news that you have, not only in the lacrosse area but in general? Ah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Perfect, Tiana. It's always a pleasure, and uh, we hope to have you back on the show at some point soon. Thank you. You as well, too. There goes Tiana Vanderhei here on Halftime. I seriously have no idea what's going on. And I'm sure (laughs) I have yet to look at comments. I'm sure there's just a laundry list of people saying WTF and all these other Forms of words and vari- variables that you can throw at people. Um, all right, so what, what is uh, so what, I've, what I've, are people saying? I'm getting to the nitty gritty of this. Oh, you're thanks you're doing to, the research. Thanks to BuzzFeed News. Uh, BuzzFeed would be the place to. Check. I know, right? They probably have a, they'll have a video at some point of people trying it and trying yeah. to figure out what it is. But David says I'm having Charlie the Unicorn flashbacks. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I feel like this is something that I'm drinking from Rick and Morty or something. You know what I mean? Like I just, don't know what Rick and Morty is. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what this is, so I guess it makes sense. Yeah, right? I don't know what Rick and Morty is. You don't know what that is. I feel like everybody is on the same page, basically. 
Like every time I taste it, like every single time. I'm, I'm like, surprised every time. I'm surprised. I, I feel like I need to go get a beer to chase <laughs> it with this, but I feel like I, I, brought, I brought a cider <laughs> with me to work today, oh, and I don't know gosh. if like that mix of this is going to be too much oh, sugar. I don't know. I mean, I, it says here, so aside from milk and ice, uh, it's made from a bunch of flavored syrups and sauces. So yeah. Starbucks. That makes sense. Uh, cream frappuccino syrup. Vanilla syrup, mango syrup, classic syrup, whatever that means, and white chocolate mocha sauce. And the white fairy cho- powders. No wonder it's so good because it's the white chocolate mocha yeah. sauce. I love white chocolate. And the fairy powders are actually a mixture of sugar and food colorings made from fruit and vegetables. Hmm. That so, sounds phenomenal. Whatever that means. That um, sounds phenomenal. But, <laughs> wait, There's okay. just so much oh, going on, on in this right now. So mango syrup. Uh, yeah, I tasted the mango syrup. Cappuccino very, syrup. Very slowly. Uh, blue drizzle, which would be the white chocolate mocha sauce. I love how it's just called blue, <laughs> blue drizzle. drizzle. It's like the it's like those soft serve ice cream cones that had the blue goo. It's like just like random. Yeah. Like ugh, it's, it's like blue moon. So is good. my tongue blue? Sour blue powder. That's no, not pink no, that's powder. Was. Um, I just don't understand what's going on. <sighs> I... Sugar plays an important role in the unicorn frappuccino, as it's a core ingredient of the syrups and sauces that give the drink its <laughs> color and flavors. Oh, oh this gosh. is absolutely incredible. Yeah, so that's why I figured Tiana would be a good guest to bring on in the sense of she knows her Starbucks drinks. She oh. is an addict just like myself and, and Liz and many other folks that we uh, that we have involved with the network as a whole. So a very big thanks to Tiana for swinging by as well, too. Um, like we, uh, it looks beautiful. Like, it I'm really looking is. at pictures like, of it, and I'm like, wow, it looks amazing. And we showed just a, we just showed a picture of it this morning because I didn't want to do that to Jamie and I this morning at 7 a.m. and start our yeah. day off with just a basket of sugar, basically. Oh I wasn't gosh. about to do that to us, thankfully. But, I feel like it needs to taste like cotton candy or something. That's but what that, I imagine. Isn't that cliche, it. though, to have a pink drink taste like cotton candy? Pink and They've blue. done that before. Yeah. I don't know. They definitely got creative with this. And by creative, I mean, I don't know who created it, but uh, he's enjoying 420, that's for sure. Yeah, true. And David, yeah, I got to look at some of these other comments because everybody is tying in the fact that we're drinking these unicorns and it being 420 today as well, too. Liz says, unicorn frap equals new 420 celebration. Great job, Starbucks. She also says we're crazy. Kurt says, imagine getting a unicorn in California or Colorado. 420, a whole new way. A whole new way, yeah. Oh, my yeah, gosh. man. Have you ever celebrated 420, Tanner? Uh, <laughs> Adam says a bit of oxy and pixie dust. <laughs> I have not celebrated. I was before. wondering I feel like what I'm the doing white, it right now. I was wondering what that drink. white powder was that she tapped in on there at the oh end. Oh my god! Had a little X it. on it. I was this like, is like my. I'm. It's gonna take like months off of my life. <laughs> I feel like I should. I feel like I should the, probably yeah. drink so, it. I mean, look at it from the bottom. What is that? Like, oh my god! I I don't know. Is that a? Is that an animal? What's swimming inside there? I definitely need to drink it from like the middle because at the bottom I think is all the it's where all the sugar all the sour stuff. Oh my gosh, sours and sugaring. My gosh, Mm-mm-mm. I don't know. Uh, Trevor says, "Yeah, I'll take a vented unicorn frappuccino with an extra shot of pixie dust, please." Is there caffeine in this? Like, no. Do they, okay, because Jen, Jen said coffee shouldn't be pink or blue. Starbucks is hit a new low. They nope. definitely hit a new low. This is it is a new low. I will probably never it's get marketed. this ever again. No, it's just straight up. Well, yeah, that's why. I mean, when I found out that I was that I was going to do this today, I was like, well. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> sure, why not? Why not? No, it's and I agree. It's not coffee, though. It's a frappuccino. So, I think what that's it what it is. Yeah, Adam says, <laughs> yeah, Adam goes through the list of everything that was also included in mm-hmm. it as well, too. So, all right. Well, we've talked about nothing sports related, which is par for the course. Yeah, that's 20 minutes par in, for the course. <laughs> 20 minutes in, uh, no sports yet. We briefly uh, hit on the NHL playoffs, but at the same time, I mean, I'm excited. Predators, Blackhawks, I think is going to be a phenomenal series tonight. Jamie mm-hmm. was losing her damn mind this morning. She's like, ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> like She literally like hooped and hollered as she walked into the studio this morning. All right. Yeah. It's a big day. David says, get a picture with your phone of the bottom mm. of the cup. I mean, look at that. Do you see, do you see what I'm seeing? I don't know. What is it? It's floating around. I think that's your straw, Tanner. Well, I see the straw. I get that. But, like, the consistency troubles me. <laughs> it's troubling. Ugh. Very troubling. I'll take a picture fast. I, I, need I, to can't, meet... I can't post it in the group. I need to meet the guy who made this thing. It's disgusting. It's like, I don't know if it's disgusting, though. I don't know if it's gross or if it's good. Yes. Good Good answer. Yes. Good answer. Um, right. so we'll get, Greg Schwartz is actually going to be here today too. Uh, we're actually going to talk Greg, about sports nice. with Greg in just a moment, but, uh, I actually wanted to, I, I think I figured out the issue with the Cleveland Browns, by the way. <laughs> oh, you have. 
you well, have. we already know that they have been trying to, uh, to to get more players to make their team better. Um, this is the non-satire part of the show, so hold on for a quick second. Um, the Browns have actually come out, their, their VP of, of operations has come out and said that they are going to use Brock Osweiler. They said that they are committed really? to Brock, and they said they are going to put him. I mean, they said that Brock has been showing up to voluntary OTAs, and he's been doing all of this stuff. And so, they said that they're gonna they're gonna roll with Brock and still draft a quarterback. That's what I was gonna ask. And still Does use Cody Kessler still as well. Draft, uh, one they're of the go- yeah, they're, they're gonna draft a quarterback. They're gonna still use Cody Kessler as well too. Okay. But they're gonna have this three way battle for quarterback. You know, starting spots basically. Uh, here as they go into the regular season, but I, I guess I'm curious your thoughts about the Browns saying, "Yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna keep him." I I don't know. I'm I'm confused. I mean, I don't think Cleveland really knows what, what they're doing either. I mean, they're gonna draft. I, I think this is just protocol to say what they're saying about uh, say Osweiler. What they need to say. He's on the, he's on their team. Of course, he's the best quarterback they have right now. So of course they need to say, "Yep, he's going to be our guy," and he's shown right. up, he's shown up to all the OTAs. Um, but they, of course they're going to draft a quarterback. Uh, well, they'd be with, foolish with not their to. Twelfth pick, so uh, or the first overall pick. Whether maybe it's, it's Leonard Fournette that they take. Yeah, maybe they right. just take Leonard Fournette and that safety hooker, and they just give the middle finger to everybody. And be like, ha! You thought we were going to be smart. We'll take Leonard Fournette and a bag of deflated footballs, which we could probably trade to New England for Tom Brady and a unicorn and a unicorn. I'll take one of those unicorn frappuccinos. <laughs> yep. That makes a lot of sense to me. But, uh, yeah, Greg Schwartz is here uh, with us on the show today. So I want to I wanna bring in uh, our good friend and NFL correspondent, Greg Schwartz, this morning. Uh, Greg, a very good day to you, sir. Welcome to Halftime. How are you today? <laughs> it's, a, it's a national holiday. Yeah, no kidding. Please, we'd love to know. Ah, huh. uh, that's, huh. that's not a coincidence at all. Right? Roger Goodell <laughs> sitting in his big office like, you know, 420. That, yeah. That's the day we should start doing this. Unbelievable. That's that's just ironic. But, uh, Greg, we have a, we're going to break it down with you here in just a moment. But... Um, what did you make of the Cleveland Browns saying that they're going to work with Brock Osweiler and potentially use him to fight for that starting quarterback position? Are you surprised by this? Because everybody thought they were going to trade trade him or even just cut their releases. losses. Yeah, yeah, just release, take the $16 million hit and move on. What do you? How do you react to hearing this? True. <laughs> uh, but nothing? Uh, more games? <laughs> Makes sense to me. Um yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what he does. Obviously, like I said, this isn't Cleveland jumping on the bandwagon saying, like, Brock's our man. Like, they're going to say we're likely going to draft a quarterback, mm-hmm. and we still have Cody Kessler, who's not amazing, but at least it's going to be a three-horse race going into the regular, or at least into the camp and into the preseason, and then the starter will be decided from there. I mean, I feel like there's almost more pressure, though, if you are Cleveland, if you do draft a Trubisky or you do draft a Deshaun Watson to make him your starting quarterback or at least give him a vast majority of the preseason snaps. I mean, at least that's, in my opinion, at least. Uh, it's interesting. I mean, you've got to give him a chance at least. It's, we're almost guaranteed to see a QB battle uh, in Cleveland. And whether you know, that means they let Brock play for a season and then yeah. have whoever, Deshaun Watson or Kaiser, whoever they draft, sit behind him and, and watch and grow for a year or if if he goes down and you know Watson goes in like uh like um Dak down in uh yeah uh down in Dallas I mean maybe we do see something like that but uh unless Kaiser or Watson or whoever comes in and really outstands in in the preseason then uh Brock Osweiler will probably be playing for the Cleveland Browns yeah Greg your thoughts about uh the quarterback race here
Is first off, how uh, are are any of these quarterbacks starters day one? Do they have the potential to be starters day one? And is Leonard Fournette going to go in the top ten? Because some mock drafts have him going at uh, maybe eight with Carolina, or I mean, who knows? But I'm I'm a, you, as you know, we've talked before. You know, I'm I'm not a big fan of drafting a running back, let alone in the first round at all. But in the top ten is a bit ridiculous for me. Um, but are, can any of these quarterbacks start uh, day one? You think? Yeah, I, and I would agree with you on that one, too. Uh, Trevor on Facebook says, could be some sort of draft day drama with Cleveland trying to nab a QB at 12. Uh, Adam believes that Kaiser is a bust. I mean, he's more of a, he's been a little bit more of a loaf for me, personally. Uh, and Josh says, it's just uh, continued uh, bungling and mediocrity by Cleveland. Doesn't matter who is the QB, they will be out in two years. Uh, and then he says, uh, <laughs> what do you think the over-under uh, three, uh, over under three of how many starting quarterbacks this season for the Browns? Over or under three starting quarterbacks for the Browns this year? Tanner, what do you think? Um, the over-under? I th- over-under. I mean, I th- with, I three being that, with three being that number, do you think it's going to be <clears throat> over or under three? Um, I don't know. I think, you can, I think you can pretty much bet on Brock Osweiler being the starter. Sure. And then uh, f- trying to figure out where they draft a quarterback. Maybe they... Uh, maybe they even trade back if two of the guys are still available. Or Very stuff. possible. I, mean, I don't know if they're going to be able to get Mitch Trubisky unless they draft him first overall. I think there's a couple teams in the top ten that would take a chance at him. Right. So uh, I don't think they're going to have a chance to get Mitch Trubisky unless they either trade back, which is not going to happen, not with a guy like Miles Garrett at first, so uh, being a top top end talent in the draft. So Right. Um, but we'll see. They're going to draft a quarterback, and whether that's in the first round with their first two picks or whether that's you know later, I mean, we'll see. But Brock Osweiler is definitely going to be their starter. So yeah, I mean, if anything, maybe they can start the unicorn Frappuccino. Dude, I honestly like it's it's continuing to separate, and that troubles me. There's a lot going on right now. I don't know what. Every time I take a sip, it like looks like goo almost. Like well, look at the way that syrups moves. and all kinds of weird stuff that's floating around in there. But uh, Greg, one of the last things I wanted to talk to you about fast before we let you run uh, is to just get a a brief prediction from you, since you are one of our one of our NFL guys here, of who you think the top f- the first five picks are going to be. Uh, we don't have to spend a ton of time uh, analyzing them, but just uh, your professional opinion of who you think one through five uh, in your opinion is. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Maybe next time. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Yep. Wow.
Sure. Oh, yeah. Hmm. All right. Yeah, five very good picks, honestly. Um, and I'm sure that for those of you that follow Greg on social media, he'll be uh, reposting that and giving his thoughts, of course, too. And I'm sure, Greg, you'll be back again with us next week as we get to the final dying hours of the draft as it is taking place. So uh, we certainly look forward to that. Uh, where, where can people find you on social media, Greg? Fantastic, Greg. Always a pleasure, sir. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Yeah, there All goes right. Greg Schwartz, one of our NFL correspondents here on Halftime. Great to hear from him and all the insight that he has going on. Uh, you got a little something on um, – yeah, you got it. Thank you. Um, <laughs> do, you do you have any objections or changes to his, uh, his top five? I mean, I know you don't like Leonard Fournette. No, I, I um, don't. And you brought in a, a Sports Illustrated yesterday with uh, Leonard Fournette on the cover of – Possibly going, what is it, to the Saints, the 49ers, I think the Jaguars are on there too, and a couple others. I can't see. Browns are on there too. Browns are on there as well too. Is Leonard Fournette going to be an elite running back? As sure as I am about not feeling my jaw (laughs) right now, I don't don't think so. Is it like your throat Mm -hmm. a little weird right now? Like I feel like I'm getting a, like a sore throat just after drinking I, this. My, like this part I'm my still face. smiling. Yeah, <laughs> I think we might as well just add alcohol at this point. I brought a cider I, like, with me to work today. Like my throat hurts, and I don't like. It's definitely. I mean, wow, like, stuff's moving. Like you're going, like you're doing this, and there's like six different things going this way, that way, and that. I'm way. trying to think. It reminds, it reminds me of, like those toys when we were a kid that like they had all the uh, like the alien goo or whatever. Oh, you know? the goop or whatever. Yeah. yeah. David said that uh, he imagines the bottom of this probably looks like a kaleidoscope. You're not wrong. It is fairly pinkish. It's very close. Fairly yes. pink. Can't really tell. So you can kind of you can kind of see it. Pinky dinky. I'm trying not to pour it on my on the laptop. That would have been bad. Look here. Look. <laughs> Whole system gone. Uh, looking back at some of the comments, Adam, you're on the same uh, wavelength as I am for a lot of this. He says if Cleveland just got. Um, just went for a second or third round quarterback. They grab a couple of linemen. They also grab a couple of wideouts. Um, he said, I would go Garrett first round and an offensive lineman uh, for their second first round pick. Makes total sense to me. You're still going to get a decent quarterback. Yes, 100%. I mean, guys like Patrick Mahomes or even Deshaun Kaiser or even a couple of the other guys that are floating around out there too are going to be around in the second and third rounds. Cleveland has 11 picks in this draft. <laughs> it's a lot of picks. Two so in the first, two in the second. They're, they're not going to get... They probably will not get Mitch Trubisky. Um, probably not. But they have an opportunity pretty much to draft whoever they want after that. How so. interesting would that be if Trippy, uh, Trippy Dippy there goes um, second overall? Um, you almost always see it, though. Teams are, teams are synonymous for, for overdrafting quarterbacks and drafting True. them higher than they probably need to be. But That's a very valid point. Uh, we'll see. That is true. Um, we do have two questions of the day as well. I know we haven't yet. We have yet to address them just because yes. we were trying to get to our, our crack cocaine uh, frappuccinos right off the bat. Uh, we have two questions of the day that we are asking that we'd like to hear from you guys. Uh, question one, what do you think really happened to Aaron Hernandez when he uh, reportedly died? We're going to talk about that in just a second here. Uh, and then also we'll talk about this a little bit later on in the show in regards to Steph Curry. But uh, should athletes have social media accounts? So give us a yes, give us a no, give us a detailed answer. However you want to give it to us, uh, we'd like to know your thoughts and your feelings about our two questions of the day. And, of course, keep those comments coming. Uh, and honestly, at this point, uh, send help because I think we're both going to suffer heart attacks by the end of these drinks. This is why I got smalls. I can't even imagine trying I to drink a venti. Literally, I mean, like my eyes are starting to hurt. <laughs> you were, yeah, your your hat looks funny to me. Like I think I'm hallucinating or something. I think so. Like my gosh, you have. I think you have lobsters on your ah, shirt. I don't know what's ah. going on. It's 
freaking out, man. Freaking out, man. Get them off. The sh- I don't want lobsters on me. That's it. I quit. I'm taking this with me. So I, put, I probably should put my shirt oh. back on. <sighs> Something in here, man. Something in here. I don't know what it is, but I'm freaking out. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. There's def- they definitely have put something in here that I don't think is supposed to go in your body. And I don't know what it is, but drinks aren't supposed to do the things that this thing is doing. Oh my gosh, there's just got to be so much crap in here. I can't stop looking at it. I mean, literally, it's, it looks amazing, but the taste is so troubling. So troubling. I'm trying oh to gosh. honestly think, like, if there's an easy way for me to, to like, reiterate what I'm feeling right now. I want to know the guy who created it. He's like, yeah, what would a unicorn taste like? I don't oh, know. it's a nice sweater you got there. <laughs> it says, like, how long is it going to take him? <laughs> fits, it fits you better. Don't it worry. does. <laughs> you, smell, you smell really nice. It's a little it. loose. I think I stretched it out. I think so. <laughs> it's all good. Button my... Oh, my gosh. Zip it up. Unbelievable. Button my top buttons here. Yeah, uh, Ryan actually chimes in with something that's smart about uh, sports as a whole. He says, athletes should definitely have social media accounts. Professional athletes are people, too. I agree. Let's talk about Steph Curry, because you brought this up, and I want to hear your thoughts. Yes. Uh, Yes, so Steph Curry, apparently getting off of all forms of social media, and I don't think this is a permanent thing. I think this is just for the playoffs here, and I don't blame him because he's probably getting... Notification Hounded. after notification after. Just I mean, turn those notifications probably, off, man. There's probably uh, media outlets trying to contact him that oh, way. Sure. And I, I mean, mean, anytime like you do an article on SI or ESPN, they tag the guys in it, so that way they get more reach for their articles. That yeah. makes total sense. Um, I I just I don't I don't know I. You see this a lot when athletes get in trouble in social media. It's not even necessarily getting in trouble, but they say things, and then the media will scrutinize them. Or uh, we saw it when was it Antonio Brown who yeah Facebook Live Facebook the, uh, Live the uh, in the I locker room the yeah, name right that now. goes against like so many le- probably Steelers. league and team Mike Tomlin rules and just, am I, I drooling I, I have <laughs> I have this mental like I feel like there's a wall in my head like I can't I can't get through my wall I right. feel like the Kool Aid Man breaking through the oh, same wall yeah. over <laughs> and over and over again. I wish I had a sound effect. I bet for if that. I hit you in the face right now, you probably wouldn't even feel it. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't stop smiling. Ah! Uh, I just I need to go to the gym. <laughs> what are you to, looking for? I, I need to I need to there's burn no, off all There's no this gym crap. underneath this table. Oh my god! Yeah. Anyways, David What's says, your... "How long until Baxter walks off set with no shirt?" <laughs> you missed that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm. A, uh, I feel like my name should be like you know Charles or something, and I'm like at a ski resort with my family. Hello, I'm Charles. Look at me. <laughs> my name is Jeeves. Bring the car around, Jeeves. Um, yeah, I have nothing. What are you even typing? Oh, I'm. I'm just prepping my my lunch for today. Oh, it's what's for lunch today? <laughs> yes, yes, oh it is. Oh my yes. god. Uh, uh, You're prepping during the show. I I forgot. I had to t- I had to type something in. I needed I needed <sighs> I got my inspiration. So I cannot stop smiling. <laughs> like <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> uh, I need to. The eat show lunch. ran real well out there today. The producers did a great job. I don't know what to do with my hands. No. <laughs> Freaking out. I don't know. I don't know. Adam just says, dude, what? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, <sighs> I've had way more than you have, and yet you're hallucinating more than I am. <laughs> I am. I am. You need yes. to drink more. You need to catch up to me. If I'm going to suffer, need to you need to up? suffer. Oh, my God. Stir it up, bro. Stir it up. Uh, James Harden on that mofo. Yeah, the colors are amazing. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Like it is. I mean, I'm not. A, oh, I'm not a smoking man. It's but like if, creamy at first, and then it immediately just punches you in the face with like just tart. Like, like seriously, like my jawline hurts. Oh, I need, I need help. <sighs> There's a lot going on. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. Um. So Aaron Hernandez, we should briefly mention this yes, as well too. Sir. Come down. Um, so Aaron Hernandez, if you haven't heard, reportedly had John 316 written in blood on his head before he died. 
Uh, there was also a Bible open on the table uh, in the prison cell, and he also had numerous red marks on his body. This is some eerie crap right here. Like, this is some weird, weird stuff. He had some red what on his body? Just red red marks. Well, he, well around his neck? No. Like, <laughs> over his, all over his body. Oh, my gosh. Um, is it possible that somebody killed him? Maybe, but, like... I don't know. In the, I really in don't the end know. of the day, who's going to be upset about that? His fa- his immediate family. I don't. Does care, it, I don't does care. it make it? Le- I mean, does it? Yeah. I say, does it make it any better that somebody killed him? Um, Not like it was good anyway that he's dead. I mean, yay for those that are excited that he's dead. But like, does it? Does it make the situation overall better that he may have been murdered? I maybe. I don't know. But then, is there? Is any, it wrong like, for me to think that he had it coming? But then, like, are there consequences for the person that murdered him? Uh, Should there be consequences for if you murder? He's probably in jail. Already. If you murder a murderer, but like, what if there was like, what if there was somebody that uh, works for the prison that ousted him and went all Da Vinci Code yeah, on him by like it. putting these code. like you know markings on him and such? Well, uh, it's quite possible. And if that's the case, I'll I'll, I'll wait for the movie. <laughs> so I know the movie. The movie's never lost. ESPN's already working on the thirty for thirty about who yes. killed Aaron Hernandez. Trevor sure was chiming are. in about this. He says, uh, causes you to hallucinate and experience intense paranoia. Could have contributed to his death. Oh, that's right. He was, uh, uh, rep- rep- it was reported that Hernandez was smoking K2 synthetic weed the night he died. How did he get his hands on synthetic weed? Oh, my God. Are you serious? Unbelievable. You seriously can't stop uh, So somebody wrote a Bible verse on his forehead? John 3.16. They were somebody, so somebody wrote it on his forehead. Yeah. Or he wrote it himself. Like, it's eerie. It's you know how hard it would be to write something on your own forehead? Because when you're writing it in the mirror, it's going to be backwards. And that's what I wonder. Was it backwards? I mean, he had a lot of downtime. <laughs> Maybe he was was it carved in his head? It wasn't carved. It was, it was written, written, I think. Reportedly had Bible verse written on his forehead at the time of his suicide. Like, I don't want to see the picture, but I do. You know? Um, he had I a Bible verse written it. on the blood of his... In blood on his forehead along with an open Bible in his prison cell where his body was discovered. He also appeared to have red marker on his hands and feet. Interesting. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I can't find anything on that. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to do some more research. But So we're asking... How do you think Aaron Hernandez actually Did died? Aaron Hernandez die uh, at his own yes. free will? Did court? Aaron Hernandez cross the line? <laughs> yes. Yes, he did. He <laughs> okay, killed, killed people. Tanner says, or David says, Tanner, what's with the purple velociraptor on your shirt, man? It's going to eat you. What? I think they just what? want you to take your clothes off, too. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Josh also uh, answers our, one of our questions of the day. You said athletes should or can have social media accounts. They probably should go through a class on how to manage them. Also agreed. Is it bad that I can't find a single picture of, of this Bible verse on his forehead? Yeah, because I mean, no one's going to have a published true. photo about that that's yet. That's true. I mean... Wait for it. Somebody will. Yes. Adam says, remember what, you, what I said yesterday, Baxter. Adam, you're asking... I, 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 I ingest a lot of information on a daily basis, Adam. Oh, Adam sent me an article. JK. I'm, that's right. I remember you saying that. Okay. I actually do remember this now. My, what? my brain is so focused right now because it's going a trillion miles I'm an hour. Or like, I'm I... so honed in on life right now that I feel like I could <sighs> like, splice an atom with my brain. Ugh, it's ridiculous. That's how good I feel. Mm, I feel like I'm awake and asleep all at the same time. Yeah. It literally like looks like your drink is dying almost. Like You see how that's like it's getting crusty? Is it supposed to happen? Crusty crab pizza. Is the pizza for you and me? Anyways, Frosty Crazy Pizza is a pizza, yeah. Did you see that two people like recreated that in real life? Did they really? Yeah, I forget oh, where, amazing. but like somebody like recreated that it. That is it was great. absolutely incredible. That was amazing. Absolutely incredible. Are there any new people watching that we should say hi to? Uh, yes. Uh, my dad says. What up, Tom? Tim Murray and Dan Bilesma gone. The Sabres fired their general manager and their head coach this morning. Breaking news. Breaking news, except it's not breaking news anymore. Know, but I don't know. How do you feel? <laughs> Where's my, doctor, my diet doctor kelp? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know what to say about that yet. So. No? You don't have any, any raw I, reaction? It, it troubles me because this, this 
I, I've never hated Tim Murray, and to have uh, to have him fired about a month, a couple months before the expansion draft. I mean, he's been doing research and getting ready for that. I mean, it, right. It, it scares me to think that we do not have somebody in place right now who hasn't been working on this for months already. So I don't know. That's a scary situation to be. The in, coach needed honest. to go though. Bowsman needed to go. Yeah, get them all, cut them all, hell with them. Start, sit, cut. I'm just kidding. I was about to say, I was yeah. like, ah, oh, I thought it was time for what's for lunch. Uh, is it time for what's for lunch? I think we should do all what's right. for lunch, honestly, because at this point we need to just finish okay. the show because I can't feel anymore, I'm, and I would like my to my face feel. is numb and I'm drooling. I'm just gonna, yeah. I feel like I'm on Novocaine or something right now. Okay, what's for lunch? Hey. Uh, I'm gonna do, make do, a sandwich do, today. Do, do, do. Boo, 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 boo. Yeah. I don't have my sound effects plugged in today. Boo! It's alright tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. I'm making a sandwich today. Sandwich? I like I'm gonna sandwiches. make. I, I brought love, soup for lunch. Today. Did you? I love BLTs. I'm a big BLT fan. I didn't oh. used to be, but I, I am as of late. Okay, cool um, beans. Uh, so today I'm gonna make a BLT. It's gonna be an easy sandwich because. BLTs nice are usually forward. pretty easy to make. No, so. It's Thursday. It's 420. I mean, you are you probably got the munchies today. You don't want to overcomplicate your lunch. Of course. Of course. So I'm going to start with my bread. That's the core of any sandwich. And I'm going to use Texas toast because I do love me some Texas toast. Can I imagine who your Texas toast is? Is it Miles Garrett? Uh, yes. <laughs> Thought it was the Rex Ryan brothers. But, uh, I thought about it. I had already used them the first time yeah, I made a sandwich. But there's so, so much. But they're not, they're there's they're so much of them to go right around. Now. They're not relevant right now. So Texas toast. I'm going to use Miles Garrett, the defensive end from Texas A&M, the inevitable first uh, overall pick for next Thursday's draft. Uh, uh, so you got to start with the B. Getting the bacon. You got to get some bacon. Bacon, um, bacon, bacon. <laughs> So I'm going to to do for my bacon Aaron Hernandez and the officer that ended up ultimately finding him. I tried to work in the Aaron Hernandez. <laughs> anyway, I, I went. It was just awful. awful. I mean, could have, he could have been the lettuce. He could have been the, like the synthetic weed he was smoking. Oh no! Well, I could still do that, but no, I have I have a good one for that anyway. So okay, okay I'll go right so into the Aaron lettuce. Hernandez then. is bacon. Is my bacon? Okay. Uh, and the lettuce is every professional athlete enjoying the festivities today on 420. Ooh. It's another weed joke. Ha! <laughs> weed. <laughs> it's that marijuana. Mary Jane. Uh, and for my tomato, I'm going to do for the toms. And you need you need a tom. Tom. Uh, so I'm going with a hefty tom Brady. supply of Tom Brady skipping out on the White House festivities because his mother was in town and he she has cancer. It's, he said Family Matters. Yeah, Are you really his... sure he wasn't just wa- watching or binge watching the show Family Matters? Pretty sure that's what happened. Okay, all right. For all accounts, his mother, all right. who all everybody knows, has cancer. Mm-hmm. She only went to one game last year, the mm-hmm. Super Bowl, mm-hmm. and she was in town visiting. Mm-hmm. So Tom and family were hanging out mm-hmm. with Mama, mm-hmm. and not hanging out with their bro Trump. All right, okay. And I'm also gonna put some avocado on here. But now it's a BLTA. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I'm just gonna use avocado. Okay, I love Haas. I love avocado. Haas. That big Haas. <laughs> I love shop I love buying big Haas avocados oh, cuz I laugh every time. It's amazing. And then like you do the whole like put the thumb over the H and you're just like <laughs> ass. <laughs> Have you ever done that before? No. What? No, I'm not 12 ne- years old, 25. I put the my finger over the H on Haas. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Unbelievable. Lavar Ball. And I will probably oh my god, I'm getting <clears throat> sick just looking at this thing. I need to eat. <laughs> I would use some pixie dust for uh <laughs> Oh my god. No, I'm just uh this this can go with the sandwich. It's this will literally I don't think you can eat with anything with this because this is like the worst thing in the entire world. Trevor said he just started drinking his unicorn drink. He says, why am I tasting the colors all around the room? <laughs> oh my god. That is pretty much what's going on, yes. Uh, is it a coincidence that this came out? Uh, it, it's only available for like four days, apparently. It's like April 19th, the 23rd or something. Is it a coincidence that, that it happens to fall on 420? Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Ugh. I don't know. My body is so unsure of itself right now. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I see you dancing. I don't know. I don't know, I'm man. Like wearing your clothes? Like, it's weird. <laughs> it's so weird. Lord uh, have mercy. All right. Should we go? Do I get a contact high from those freaking fraps? <laughs> My head hurts. Uh, 
Go with Defilta Fish. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, all right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I can't do this. Where's my diet, Doctor Kill? <laughs> you sh- you can go if you need to. You uh, should just go. Uh, yeah. I'll close the show. You should go. Bye, Tanner. Hope you find your dad. <laughs> Lord have mercy. All right. Well, that was Tanner Burke. I'm Baxter Colburn. A huge thanks to Tiana Vanderhei and Greg Schwartz for joining us on the program today. Hey! The party has officially begun. Oh, my gosh. Find our website, brewsportsnet.com. Find us on social media, on Facebook, on Twitter, and Instagram, at brewsportsnet. And comment below if you think Tanner and I will both be back here tomorrow in one official piece. I don't think we will be. I probably will not. Friday. It'll be a frothy, flighty Friday. What will we do tomorrow, Tanner? I don't know. I don't know either. But make sure you come back and find uh, out at noon Eastern, uh, 11 Central, right here I'm gonna on tell everybody. I'm going to tell everybody what we're doing with $100 million tomorrow. Oh. Yes. So we're, we're about to get $100 million. Yes, we're about to get $100 million. So come on back tomorrow and see what we're going to do with it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. This has been Halftime on Brew Sports. Sure, I said gift. Gift to close out the show. Give the people.